yes, I will go ahead and say that we did call this video the return of the stranded astronauts, but this capsule that they are returning in right now, this SpaceX capsule, has been parked with them at the space station for months. As you might recall, in June of 2024, NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams embarked on their first crewed test flight of Boeing's Starliner spacecraft, aiming for just a brief mission up at the International Space Station some 10 days or so. Uh, but due to problems with Starliner's experienced propulsion systems, their thrusters malfunction, and they experienced some helium leaks, NASA deemed that spacecraft unsafe for the crew to return home. So Wil Wilmore and Williams went from spending 10 days to nine months up at the International space station when nasa folded them in to this crew nine mission which is now returning with them and two others on board normally these crewed missions have four astronauts sometimes from nasa sometimes from other agencies when crew nine launched they only sent two up and that meant had two empty chairs so that butch and sunny could then return with what is the typical four crew rotation so had there been an emergency they were not truly stranded so much as the headlines would lead you to believe. Yes, they were supposed to come home in 10 days as part of Boeing's Starliner mission. When that didn't happen, they got folded into the normal International Space Station crew rotation, which meant that they then served a full rotation and then some as a part of NASA SpaceX Crew 9. This return of NASA SpaceX Crew 9 marks the 10th mission that SpaceX and NASA have collaborated on for human flight to space. This whole collaborative came about, of course, after the end of the NASA Space Shuttle program in 2011. How we got to where we are today is also important to note that this is the first time that astronauts returning in this SpaceX capsule didn't all fly up on a SpaceX capsule. Two of them flew up on Boeing Starliner. When the folks at NASA decided to do away with the space shuttle program and begin towards this model where private companies, SpaceX and Boeing among them, would be flying astronauts to space. The idea was to have more than one program, more than just SpaceX, flying astronauts in order to have a little competition and a little redundancy. Well, Boeing has run into delays after delays with their Starliner. In June, Butch and Sonny did take the Boeing Starliner up to the International Space Station for what was Boeing's first test flight, coming four years after SpaceX's first test flight. But again, because of issues with the Boeing Starliner craft, it was decided that after that June launch, that Butch and Sonny would join NASA SpaceX Crew 9 when they made it up to the space station at the end of September. So that's how these two astronauts who have now returned as part of NASA SpaceX Crew 9 ended up spending over nine months in space. A little bit longer than is the typical crew rotation, which is approximately over six months, depending on what the weather is for both return and launch of the next subsequent crew. Again, uh, these astronauts who have become dubbed in the headlines as the stranded astronauts returning in the SpaceX capsule that has been docked with them for months on the International Space Station, really making you wonder how stranded you really are if your exit vehicle has been there with you the whole time and you are simply fulfilling the mission that you were reassigned into. But nonetheless, after more than nine months, they're back here on Earth and pretty soon will be reignited with friends and family who, of course, have been very anxious to see them once again after their 10-day mission turned into one of lasting nine months. I'm James Briarton in Charlotte, North Carolina. You've been watching live coverage here on the Carolina Weather Group. I'll see you back here Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern time for another edition of the Carolina Weather Group, our weekly show covering weather, science, technology, and more from the Carolinas and beyond. Until then, be well. Talk to you again real soon.